Both cells have a cell membrane. This is the skin that surrounds the cell. It protects the cell. It controls the things that enter and leave the cell. They both have a cytoplasm. This is a very watery substance containing many dissolved substances such as proteins and sugar. The chemical reactions necessary for life take place here. Both cells have a nucleus. This is the control centre of the cell. It contains a special chemical called DNA. DNA contains the instruction on how the cell works. The plant cells have chloroplasts, the cell wall and vacuoles. Chloroplasts are responsible for the green colour in plants. They contain the green pigment chlorophyll. The cell wall in plant cells gives shape and support to the plant cell. Vacuoles are spaces in the cytoplasm which store things and give support. In summary, plant cells have a cell wall, they have chloroplasts and have large vacuoles. Animal cells have no cell wall, no chloroplasts and small vacuoles. Single cell divides into two parts. These can divide again and again. Growth in animals and plants is a result of cell division. Tissues. A tissue is a group of similar cells with a special function. Muscle cells, nerve cells and blood cells are examples of tissues. Organs. An organ is a group of tissues that work together to perform a special function. For example, a nose contains skin tissue, bone tissue and blood tissue. A leaf contains phloem and xylem tissue. Systems. A system is a group of organs working together. For example, the digestive system consists of the esophagus, the stomach, the intestines and other organs. Thank you for watching our video from Michelle and Lucy.